Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, December 21st, 2016. The Tarot card for today is the Four of Cups. This one is from the beautiful yet-to-be-released Star Tarot from Kathy McClellan, and we will be talking more about it in the months to come. Now, Four of Cups. Here we are, by the way. Happy Solstice, everyone. Welcome to the Sun in Capricorn. As I mentioned yesterday, we're at the beginning of a new cycle. And as you can see, the figure in the card appears to be meditating. All right? And that is one of the meanings that's associated with this card. Whether you choose to meditate today on the solstice or not is not necessarily what this is about. But there's definitely, when we feel the change of the seasons, that... I'm going to say that time for contemplation, especially this season, because it signifies, you know, like the end of the year is coming. Everybody starts thinking about, all right, there's not much time left. We're down to days here. We're down to 10 more days in the year. And what am I going to do next year? What do I want in my life? Yeah, there's a lot of that that I discuss on Patreon in the video that accompanies the solstice and the sun in Capricorn, by the way, and a lot more information about that. Now, that's just it. It's like you start thinking about it, you know, the year's winding down. What have you accomplished? What do you hope to accomplish in the coming year? There's a great deal of thought that's going into this and, you know, what you come up with. Maybe you don't have all the answers, but I think more than knowing, like, about where you're going, you're definitely thinking about where you've been and how much of that no longer works for you. Okay. Kind of leaves it wide open, doesn't it? You know, for the possibilities of the coming year. I would urge you not to get too overly involved in this whole thought process today. I think it's natural that it occurs, you know, with the energy shift. But you have to remember that Mercury is retrograde. So it's not like you can really go thinking about things today and concocting a new plan or whatever. So what are you willing to accept and not accept? That's what it should be more about at this point in time. Like at least defining your boundaries of what works for you. Taking action on it, that may need to wait for another day. Mercury does not go direct until January the 8th, and it doesn't leave shadow until January 27th, which coincidentally, and I don't believe in coincidences, is also the same day as the new moon in Aquarius. So that's probably a better time when you get there at that new moon to see how you feel about things, and then you'll be able to proceed. But right now, I think there's a big review. That's where Mercury's stepping in, taking you to, telling you to look things over. So keep it light. Don't make any definitive, you know, decisions right now. Just work on the thought process part of it and know that in about a month or so, you're going to be able to start acting on the things, the new things that you want to do. All right. While you're reviewing what should not be a part of the new that's important to remember there's not this uh it's almost like you're working on creating an entirely new life and there's so much of it that just doesn't fit in anymore so it's a lot to think about but it happens naturally i i I'd say it's naturally occurring every year to everyone as the year winds down so don't let it overwhelm you and think you have to figure it all out because you do not at this moment. All right, I want to thank you again for listening, and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.